Hi there gamers, welcome back after Easter. We are back with some seriously interesting gaming news. First of all, Deus Ex has been announced. It's coming back and it's looking really, really impressive. Uh, Mankind Divided is, is the new title of the game. Looks amazing. We've also got Mortal Kombat 10 coming out next Tuesday, which is the 14th of April, so make sure you check all the details out of that. We've got a preview going out today. And Killing Floor has been announced uh, as coming to Steam Early Access later in this month. And we've got ourselves a beta code thanks to the guys developing it, so make sure you keep on mygameslounge.com for some impressions on that game, hopefully tomorrow. Now, Deus Ex Band back to Square Enix. They are going to have an incredible, incredible year, 18 months, maybe even two years looking at the schedule that they've got. Square have been incredibly quiet in this next generation of gaming. They've not really done that much. We, we were all a little bit questioning where they were at the last E3. Now it looks like they're bringing it to this new E3. And Deus Ex is one hell of a start. And you can see here that it's obviously really gone thick on the, the cyberpunk feel to this game. This futuristic kind of world full of just it's almost like a, a mixture of kill zone and, and got that blade runner feeling to it it looks really impressive now what what got me was was this moment coming up where the augments are on, on denton come through and he just absolutely rips these guys to pieces and it looks it, it just looks so good now obviously we're not going to judge it yet because this is a movie this is obviously rendered um, by someone directing a really really cool trailer for the game now what's really good to see is the fact that they have put this game out as a kind of a a, a month-long release of information on Game Informer and hopefully we'll get more information we'll get more gameplay we'll get more videos so make sure you obviously just keep an eye on that and we'll be tracking it too and we'll bring you as much as we can as soon as we get it and if anything extra comes through from Square of course we'll report on it um, but now it looks really impressive I like the the kind of refugees in the future approach this this kind of desolate world even though everything's technologically so much more advanced and there's this kind of rebellion against the the augmented humans of course which has just been kind of the theme following it it looks very good it's obviously a classic series that they're bringing it kind of into the foreground again love it and i'm loving the fact that one of my favorite developers in square enix are actually really making a huge push on games like i said very very quiet taking the time and they had some financial difficulties obviously that, that was well uh, published that they were struggling a little bit now they've since sorted that out from what it seems and last year they released a good game in murdered soul suspect for me i reviewed it i thought it was really good i enjoyed it chalk and cheese kind of game um where i'm from you call it marmite you're either going to love it or you hate it if you don't know what marmite is it's a disgusting substance that some people think is amazing um yeah, I really do think Square could have a really impressive year. Now, this is just obviously Deus Ex, and it's going to be a, it's going to be good. And it's going to have a really good fan following. There's also some really impressive games coming out. Obviously, we don't know when this is. It possibly could be 2016, but Just Cause 3 has been announced as coming out this year, which is really good. Now, obviously, as a fan of Far Cry and, and those kind of games. I love the, the Just Cards approach and it's really more kind of like an action movie version. It's more crazy, everything explodes. It's just so much kind of fun. I mean, Far Cry is on drugs a little bit. There's, you know, there's definitely some craziness going on there, but this is like Far Cry on speed. It, it's, it's incredibly fun. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this guy <laughs> creating some more explosions and some more fun. And we've also got quite possibly the most exciting Final Fantasy game ever coming up. Final Fantasy has hit a bit of a lull since, for me, Final Fantasy X. I know a lot of people like Final Fantasy XII and it did really well in its scores. I didn't think it felt like a proper Final Fantasy game to me. It didn't capture me. It didn't have enough on the story, if I'm completely honest. It just didn't do it for me. But this playing the demo we're going to do a special on the demo very soon and we're going to have more on final fantasy very soon on mygameslounge.com because i was utterly blown away by this really cool demo 
that came with Final Fantasy Type-0 which we reviewed which was also a very very good game so Square have really got some big big guns coming out and they've held back they've still got other series they can draw on now we've already know that the Xbox One exclusive Tomb Raider sorry Rise of the Tomb Raider is also coming out this year so that is quite an impressive lineup from what is again like I say my favorite games developer and this this is my favorite Final Fantasy game of kind of a generation really I love Final Fantasy 7 for what it did for the series but if you ask me which one would I prefer to play again it would be Final Fantasy 10 and I cannot wait to play this on the PlayStation 4 looking like this so they're obviously bringing out quite a few re-releases as well I know they're not for everybody I like them personally speaking especially if I've missed the game and if I don't want to buy it I won't so it's just an option that's there to me if I want it. Square have also been using some of the smaller studios to make like indie type games like this episodic Life is Strange game which we reviewed on mygameslounge.com with the first two episodes reviewed for you there. Um, it, it's a really interesting game and um, it's not perfect but it, it's got this kind of story element that really drives it forward and, and it shows that with all these kind of aspects and the possibility of bringing back one of my favourite games which is Hitman considering the last game was really good and set up for a sequel that they've got quite a good future and, and things are looking really bright for the next couple of years for them but what do you think? Get yourself on mygameslounge.com and let us know